Good morning, folks. The appearance of numerous sunspot groups has turned an all-quiet event into potential for higher activity. We already have some of that activity, coming from an interaction between umbral fields looping above the two trailing spots incoming here. You will see in these different wavelength views that the bright pop comes from between the big spots rather than being confined above just one of them. We'll monitor the growing spots closer to center disk as well, but right now the strong beta gamma and possibly delta complexity at the trailing northern grouping is the primary thing we're watching. That balm down at the bottom of it right there. It's likely the cause of the tick upward and flaring in CME activity. We'll have to monitor all of this in the coming days. You will also notice a plasma filament incoming down south that creates a coronal cavity. Website members will recall a recent lesson on this phenomena. Coming to the rest of the last day on our star, and all we really have to note is the Earth-facing coronal hole down south, as the only quake factor present before an anticipated sector boundary gives it a nudge. The earthquake watch would only be minor from it, especially since we watch the red fade away and continues today. It is losing power as a space weather maker. Top quake of the last day was a six-pointer in Malaysia, not huge, but above average, and it's just east of the new volcano eruptions at Loken. For the remainder of our space weather news, let me do a little setup. A lot of things are changing, not just here with the observers, but over at Earth Changes Media as well. We are reformatting the website and the members area there should be done soon. You already saw the release of MagneticReversal.org, a simple, clean, easy to understand and easy to share, free informational resource. Now, here's the second one, SpaceWeatherNews.com. Solar Ham, Solon, Artists all have value, but if I was going to make a one-page check sheet for the Sun and Earth, it would be this, with the satellite charging data at the bottom as a sort of last warning for a solar eruption that might actually do some harm at Earth. Surely the satellites would show it first. So back up here we see the slightly increased flaring into sea range, but nothing scary just yet. No significant proton or electron fluctuations, and the magnetogram and KP index at the bottom show that Earth's magnetic field is calm. There's no surprise when you come down to solar wind and see that we still have the anomalous spiking, but the low, low speed baseline lets us know that the heliospheric pressure is sputtering. As you would imagine, the satellite environment is calm. Top article today is about the long wave outgoing radiation anomaly for India white hot heat wave on the land with a record-breaking cold snap occurring just to the east which got no reporting in the news. Top animal of the day is this little guy. The critters will always know the changes are coming before we do. Stay dry. By the end of the weekend this hurricane is going to be the major talking point as it heads north but for now we're eyeing the same area again tonight for bad storms and tornado potential. From the Rockies east into the plains, we will see more of these tremendous cloud production events as the energy flows to this area and then makes itself known. In Europe, oh yeah, that low near Ireland became the big deal. Emerald Isle and UK weather shares are appreciated as your alerts are the top of the map over there. Another enviable day down under, high pressure blocking out all the frowny weather as the southern low tries to reach up to land and can't quite get it going. A for effort though. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Spaceweathernews.com is the new free resource. 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe everyone.